Hello all. Let us introduce to the admin section of Opki. Opki admin facilitates you with Updating users profile Creating new users Managing projects View queued session status View and manage agents In this video, we will highlight the main features of Opki admin Open the URL of Opki on the browser Enter a valid email address Enter the password of the user Click on Login After successfully logging into Opki Click on the Go to Admin tab The admin window will get opened To upload the profile of the user, click here Select the profile pic to get uploaded Now, click on Open. The profile pic will get uploaded and a message will be displayed image updated successfully. In the right hand side of the window, the fields are auto populated with previously filled details. Update the name. Password. Confirm password. Once you have finished the updating, Click on the update button. Now, move to the user management section. Click on the create user tab. Enter the name. Email ID. The allow user to login checkbox is marked as checked. Enter the password, confirm password. Click on the create button, the message user added successfully will get displayed. Enter name of the user in the search box. The user will get searched. Click on update user icon. An update users window should get opened. Let's update the is admin checkbox. You can also update the password and confirm password. Click on the update button. The message details updated successfully will get displayed. If you wish to release lock, click on the release lock icon. A pop-up message are you sure you want to release lock for all artifacts locked by user username, will be displayed. Click OK. To delete a specific user, click on delete user icon. A pop-up message should be displayed are you sure you want to delete this user. Once the user is deleted, a message user is deleted successfully will get displayed. Let us now understand the project management section. The list of all existing projects will be displayed. Click on the Create Project tab. The Create Project window will get opened. Enter the name. Click on the Plugins drop down. Select the appropriate checkboxes. Click on the user drop down. Select the appropriate users. You can increase or decrease values for max parallel run allowed. Enter the password. Enter the confirm password. Once, it is done, click on the create button. The message project created successfully will be displayed. To search for a specific project, Enter the project name in the search box. The entered project should get searched. Click on update project icon. An update project window will be opened. Update the required fields, 
let's say plugins. You can also update the password fields. Now, click on the update button. Another pop-up window will get opened. Enter the password of the existing user. Click on validate. The message project has been updated successfully will be displayed. To delete a project, click on delete project icon. A pop-up message are you sure you want to delete this project, should be displayed. Click OK. Now. Move on to the Qt Session Management section. Select the session to be deleted. Click on Delete Selected Session icon. A pop-up message will be displayed. Are you sure you want to delete this session? Click OK. Click on the View Artifact Path icon of the selected session detail. A pop-up window will get opened specifying the artifact path. You can select the executing slash finished sessions tab to view all the queued session having status as executing. You can also search for any session name. The entered session name should get searched successfully. Clicking on the clear search icon will clear the search box. Now, move on. Now, move on to the agent management section. Click on delete selected session icon in the action cell. Clicking on OK will delete the session and a message agent deleted successfully will be displayed. If you wish to navigate back to the OpKey home window then click on the dashboard tab. Click log out to exit from OpKey. Thanks for watching. For any queries, mail us to support at opkey.com.